Hi guys, Mark Nicol here. So continuing this uh, video series of Ask Mark or Ask the Trainer, Ask the Coach I should say. Um, I had a few people uh, contact me last week with questions about sort of digestive disorders. Okay, so from Crohn's disease through to colitis. Um, I've got a long term close friend of mine from school suffers very badly with Crohn's disease. So this was an interesting topic to kind of research and look into. So Crohn's disease and sort of ulcerated colitis are kind of at the very, or kind of at one end of the extreme end of a continuum of a whole host of kind of di digestive disorders, which, you know, if you suffer regularly with bloating, indigestion, um, you know, if you maybe fluctuate from being constipated to having diarrhea, you know, the advice that I give now will, I think, um, benefit you. So maybe if you're not even sort of suffering from that kind of extreme length of, uh, of Crohn's or colitis. Okay. So um, Crohn's disease, well it was kind of once thought to be uh, an autoimmune disorder or condition, okay, where the immune system becomes overactive um, and kind of not functioning perhaps quite right, so it almost causes uh, your body to attack itself. Okay. So being an autoimmune disease, so, the, um, so your body's kind of attacking the digestive system. But actually as I researched this, it's now kind of considered that maybe Crohn's disease is actually more of an issue of an, a lack of immunity. Okay, and this is really significant. On a recent workshop I attended, there was a guy called Dr. Nigel Plummer speaking, and he's regarded as probably the UK's leading expert on digestive and gut health. And he explained that 80% of the, of the body's immune system is actually contained within the digestive system, okay? within what we call the microflora, okay? or the good bacteria within the digestive system. Okay, and this is really important, because if you consider that the digestive system is kind of the key area where we come into most contact with potential to do us harm, okay? Because we ingest our food, and so the digestive system performs obviously a barrier between what can be considered stuff coming in from the outside and our insides in themselves, okay? So any kind of flaw or dysfunction in the digestive system is not, un well, is likely to cause issues um, from a health perspective, okay? So it's going to cause your immune system to become challenged. So... So maybe that's the case, okay? So it's, it's maybe something to consider. It's a, it's a lack of immunity that's causing the problem. Now, it's also thought that, um, that Crohn's disease is uh, linked with an increase in uh, the consumption of what are known as omega-6 fatty acids, okay? So these come from, uh, from meats. Uh, they come from nuts and seeds. Uh, and to be honest, they're... It's, it's anything that's like a, like a processed vegetable fat, okay, which is found in just about anything you buy in the stores today. Okay, so from uh, from prepared ready meals to uh, biscuits, crackers, uh, sweets, fast foods, um, anything. You look at the ingredients to anything that you buy in a packet, and it's more than likely that that will contain vegetable oil. Okay, now these fats they cause you they cause an inflammatory response within the body. Okay, so if you're consuming lots of these, it's, it's not, um, it's not difficult to understand why your digestive system will become inflamed, okay, because you're consuming lots of food that causes inflammation. So uh, one of the other issues um, that, I've, that I've kind of looked into uh, is the impact of emotional stress, okay. Uh, you'll know that if you go through any sort of period of stress, okay, it will affect kind of either your appetite, you'll either kind of want to eat more or less. Um, and you'll know that you kind of get that knotted type of feeling or butterflies in your stomach. Okay, so you, how you feel emotionally has a major impact um, on your digestive system. So if you're going through a particularly tough time um, in your work, in relationships, um, if you're feeling under a great deal of stress, it will have an impact on how your digestive system is functioning. The other consideration is an imbalance in your gut bacteria. Okay. Now there's obviously there's, there's good bacteria, which if you watch TV you'll have heard mentioned in kind of the adverts for like things like Yakult and these new probiotic yogurts and stuff. Um, and there's uh, bad bacteria. Okay, now the good bacteria again forms the well, it's really the largest part of your di of your immune system, I should say. So if you have an imbalance where you're not where you don't have enough of these good gut flora, your body can't defend itself against all of the toxins and, and sort of rubbish and stuff that's coming in from the outside environment. So it's very important that you maintain this balance. Okay, so in that kind of frame of thinking, okay, 
one of the thoughts as to why digestive order disorders and things is becoming more and more prevalent is also that because we're, we now live in an environment where we're actually exposed to fewer and fewer bacteria. Okay, so modern sort of hygiene and cleaning, you know, we're all kind of obsessed with keeping the house clean. And you know, again, if you watch TV, you see these numerous adverts for household disinfectants and stuff to kill off all these 99.9% .9 of bacteria and so on. But of course, if there's no bacteria, our immune system has nothing to challenge it's itself. So if your immune system has no challenge, it becomes weak and so on. So, in fact, there was one study where people were reintroduced to what, what were regarded as harmless bacteria, um, and the, insulin, the symptoms and the incidences of their Crohn's disease were reduced. Okay, so something to think about. Okay, so, but what can you do about it? Well, again, in this very short video, and I understand I'm sort of getting a little bit rambly, but there's, a, there's kind of a, a protocol or a sequence that I've used with a, a number of clients, and again, it was advised by Dr. Nigel Plummer at the, uh, at the workshop that I attended. So the first on the list is you have to consider what you're actually eating, okay? So I would definitely go on what I would regard or is known as kind of an, an elimination type of diet. Okay? So you're gonna stop consuming foods that are known uh, irritants or um, allergens to most people, okay? So that list would include things like wheat and dairy, okay? I would also definitely cut out sugar, okay? I'd also look at removing alcohol and caffeine from your diet as well, okay? So these, these are typically things food groups that typically cause an inflammatory or an allergic response within your digestive system. Okay, so you kind of take that stuff out to stop, you know, to stop the body being challenged so regularly by things that it's allergic to. Okay, you also need to maintain your hydration. Okay, hydration is absolutely key to maintaining the mucus uh, that can, that's contained within your digestive system. That again allows the, the uh, kind of the shutting out of bad stuff and the absorption of good stuff. Okay, so maintain your hydration. So you need to be drinking at least two to three litres of water a day. Okay, sorry, someone just coming in for a class just now. Um, you also need to get plenty of sleep. Okay, so you need to be getting at least eight to ten hours of sleep a night. Okay, your sleep is so important because that's when your body repairs itself. Okay, so if you're not getting enough sleep, your body can't repair your digestive system. If it's not being repaired or maintained properly, then that's when you're going to start leading to problems as the, as the membranes and things within your digestive system start to become dysfunctional and break down. Regular exercise has also been shown to improve your immune system. So yeah, get regular, appropriate exercise. So don't need to train ridiculously hard, especially if you're feeling poorly. Okay, so if you are suffering with Crohn's or digestive disorders and you, and you don't have lots of energy, then just get outside, get some fresh air, just go for regular walks, cycling, swimming, or anything like that, just to kind of raise your body, uh, your, your body's kind of heart rate, and just to kind of get you moving. Okay? The other thing to consider is also you need to manage your stress. Okay? So as we mentioned, emotional or psychological stress will have a huge impact on your digestive system and how you feel. So you definitely need to manage that as well. Okay? From a supplemental point of view, guys, you can supplement with glutamine okay your body uses glutamine to maintain um, the one cell thick membrane in your digestive system it allows the kind of the, the transfer of food from your digestive system into the body okay so again glutamine is used to maintain that cell membrane so you could you could supplement with up to 10 grams of glutamine a day okay in two doses of five grams okay so morning and evening um, and if you're going through a particularly stressful period in your life that could also be increased you also need to consider taking a probiotic. Okay, not like you hear mentioned on the television. You need much, much higher doses. Um, if you look at the bacteria content of the probiotics that you consider taking, you need to be consuming around 25 billion. Okay, that's a lot of these good bacteria every day. Okay, so again, these have come from cl proven clinical studies on the treatment of these digestive disorders. So definitely worth considering. And also, again, based on proven scientific studies, you need to be taking around four to five grams of EPA or fish oil a day, which act as a massive anti-inflammatory. Okay? But you need to consider this for at least a minimum of 12 weeks, guys. So if you're going to go into a supplement protocol, consider that it's going to take around 12 weeks. The probiotics, you'll normally see a considerable difference in your digestion within the first couple of weeks. All right, long video, but really interesting topic. I hope it's helpful, and if you have any more questions, guys, do shoot me a line, okay? Yeah. Cheers, take care.